What's up, folks? Math Made Easy is here. Math Made Easy. I am here today. Talk to you guys. And so, definitely, you. This is going to be a tutorial on how to use the graphing feature of the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. Um, this is a brand new calculator, and if this is your first graphing calculator, or if you're just new to this kind of family of calculators, like the ones with, of course, the mouse, then this tutorial is for you. Now, before I know, um, before I start, I want to know a few things, so I realize that my channel will be struggling. I mean, not necessarily struggling, but will be not as fast growing as usual in the summer months because of course school is out nobody wants to be doing math so i'll probably branch off to some other intellectual endeavors whatever that may be please suggest things in the comments but just no stupid stuff please um subscribe to the channel click the notification bell if you haven't already because um 250 subscribers i'm gonna eat a bar of very very spicy chocolate which I hope you enjoy. But without further ado, let's get into this. So we have our um graph. If you don't know how to get to this, I should probably just go. You start here. You can either click on that or you can hit the B button. And that will bring you to the graph. And you can switch between your standard top letter here and your graph here. Now, how does one graph an equation? You have to hit tab, f of 1 of x. Let's just say um, x plus 2. Just to make it simple, hit enter, and it will show up instantly. You might be wondering how to... It's in degrees, you can just click that to transition it to radians. If you are going to be doing trigonometry type stuff with your calculator. Now, each new equation I want, I just hit tab. So like that, I just graph that equation and it instantly shows up and it will automatically do a different color. I have not found a way... To change the colors, I don't think that's really important, because usually when you're doing math, you don't really care what color the graph is. But it's nice that there is the different colors, just so you can differentiate these two equations clearly. You know, I'm going to do one more example. Let's go tab. This thing, I love how it can do. I should turn it to degrees, because I, I, a radians, because I love how it can do trigonometry. Graphing of trigonometric functions, of course. Trig. Just click trig and then say sign. Of. Um, just say sign of 2x. Maybe. And we see it graphs that very nicely. So great. So we can graph things. Now, very wonderful. Now to remove them. It's just a simple thing. What you're going to do is you're going to go click on menu and then you're going to click on one and then you're going to click on four and this will just clear your graph. If say you have an equation so x minus six let's just say And you want to change it. I'm not that experienced in doing it, but you can just say. And honestly, I don't just see why you wouldn't just, you know, clear your equations if you didn't like this equation. Again, that's this menu. Um, one. And you're going to click on this if you want to. 
um, click an object to display its coordinates or equations. So that's just if you want to do that. Again, most of the stuff really isn't that necessary. But hey, what are you going to do? Again, number four to delete all. And click on yes there. Okay, is there anything else? I'm not sure there's anything else that really needs to be covered. Tell me if you want me to do more tutorials on how to use this calculator. I mean, the calculator part is pretty self-explanatory. But, um, yeah. Um, please leave suggestions down in the comments below. Where I live, school doesn't get out till mid-June, but where you guys live, I have no idea where any of you guys live. So... You might already be done with math, and if so, then, okay. But, yeah, tune in for 250 subscribers special. That is going to be really epic. So, have a nice day.